Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Basham, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching the truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled Holy Men and Spiritual Pneumonia, Genesis 2 and 7. And the Lord Yahweh power formed man, meaning Adam, of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. Let's focus on the term breath in the Hebrew. Strong's H5397 pronounced as Nashmah, Nashmah. According to outline of biblical usage, breath, spirit, breath of the Most High. But let's continue. According to Strong's definition, a puff, wind, vital breath if you know anything about the term vital it means life divine inspiration meaning what the holy spirit intellect okay but keep this in mind wind all right that's the main definition i want to focus on next precept Job 33 and verse 4. The Spirit of the Most High have made me, and the breath of the Almighty have given me life. Let's focus on spirit and the Hebrew. Strong's H7307 pronounced as Rawaka. Rawaka. And it means wind, breath, mind, spirit. Okay, let me repeat that. Wind, breath, mind, spirit. Let's jump down to C. Spirit as that which breathes quickly in animation or agitation. All right? And when you go into that term animate, it means to be lively. Okay, but let's continue. According to G1, an inspiring ecstatic state of prophecy as impelling prophet to utter instruction or warning, imparting warlike energy and executive and administrative power. Okay. All of these are definitions of what? The Rawaka. Okay? But like I said before, what I want to focus on is the term wind and breath. Okay? Let's focus on breath in the same scripture. Strong's H fifty three and ninety seven pronounced as Nash Ma Nash Ma. And when we jump down to the Strong's definition, it means what? A puff, wind, vital breath, divine inspiration, intellect. Okay. Let's go to Jeremiah. Fifty one and seventeen. Every man is brutish by his knowledge. Every founder is confounded by the graven image, for his molten image is falsehood, and there is no breath in them. Meaning what? These individuals lack the Holy Spirit.
according to breath in the Hebrew, Strong's H, 7307, pronounced as Rawaka. Rawaka. All right? And it means what? Wind. Breath. Spirit. Okay? And like I said before, the focal point on this lesson is the term wind and breath. Okay? Let's go to Ezekiel 27 and verse 5. Salakia, Salakia. It's supposed to be Ezekiel 37. And verse 5, Thus said the Lord power unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. The bones is referring to Israelites. Okay? Let's focus on the term breath. In the Hebrew... Strong's H, 7307, Rawaka, and it means what? Wind, okay? Meaning these individuals will have what? The Holy Spirit, being able to navigate through the Holy Scriptures, utilizing a spiritual perspective, all right? Numbers. Five and thirty, or when the spirit of jealousy come upon him, and he be jealous over his wife, and shall set the woman before the Lord Yahweh, and the priest shall execute upon her all this law. Let me read that again, though. Numbers five and thirty, or when the spirit of jealousy come upon him. And he be jealous over his wife, and shall set the woman before the Lord Yahweh, and a priest shall execute upon her all the law. Let's focus on spirit. And for spirit in the Hebrew is what? Strong's H7307, pronounced as Rawakah. Okay. According to the freedictionary.com, the term pneumonia means what? An acute or chronic disease marked by inflammation of the lungs, usually caused by a bacterium, virus, or other infectious agent. All right? Now, according to the Latin, the term pneumonia goes into what? It goes into the origin of pneuma, which means what? Breath. All right? Lord will, this is making sense. Pneumonia goes into the origin of what? Pneuma, which means breath. Let's focus on this term in the etymon. Numa, which means what? According to etymononline.com, a blowing, a wind, okay? Um, spirit of a person, inspiration, <laughs> a spirit, all right? And it means also to breathe, breath, all right? So, in a nutshell, Holy men have what? Spiritual pneumonia. Pneumonia goes into the origin of pneuma, which means what? To breathe or breath. And according to Etamon Online, pneuma, a definition for pneuma is what? A wind, all right? A spirit to blow, to breathe, all right? To blow, to breathe. 
which brings me to another precept. John 20 and 22. And when he had said this, he breathed on them. Now, this is Yahweh Shai breathing on the disciples and said unto them, Receive ye the Holy Spirit. Okay. Now, he literally did this. And this was symbolic for what? When you look up the term breathe, it goes into Strong's G seventeen twenty and for sound. And for This is where you get the term emphysema, okay? Now according to an outline of biblical usage, this term means to blow or breathe upon. But let's continue. The Greek word here used is employed nowhere else in the New Testament, but is the very one used by the Septuagint translator of Genesis 2 and 7. And the Lord power formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and a man became a living soul. All right? Let me repeat that again. The Greek word here used is employed nowhere else in the New Testament, but is the very one used by the Septuagint translator of Genesis 2 and 7. So this term breathe for John 20 and 22 is the same word, the same um, um, word that was utilized for what? Genesis 2 and 7. All right, going back into the point of this lesson, that holy men have what? Spiritual pneumonia. Because pneuma is defined as what? A breath to blow, to breathe, okay? According to etamononline.com. All praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. We are inspired by the Holy Spirit, that wind, that breath. When Yahweh Shah breathed on the disciples, okay, he was activating what? The Holy Spirit. Last precept. I think it's Wisdom of Solomon seven and twenty four, the water y'all wash him all shy. For wisdom is more moving than any motion. She pass and go through all things by reason of her pureness. All right, verse 25. For she is the breath of the power of the Most High and a pure influence flowing from the glory of the Almighty. Therefore, can no defiled thing fall into her. Right. Only the elect can fall into her. Referring to what? This breath. Okay, referring to wisdom, meaning the Holy Spirit. And it can also be classified as what? Spiritual pneumonia. For she is the brightness of the everlasting light, the unspotted mirror of the power of the Most High, and the image of his goodness. Okay, verse 27. And being but one, she can 
It's like it being but one. She can do all things, and remaining in herself, she make all things new. And in all ages, entering into holy souls, she make them friends of the Most High and prophets. And like I said before, holy men have the Holy Spirit. All right. And that Holy Spirit can also be classified as what? Spiritual pneumonia. Lord, will your edify Shalom.